So in this video, we're going to talk about electric guitar. So the way that we mix the electric guitar here is we use a Line 6 Helix, which is a modeler that sounds really consistent. It sounds pretty nice, and it enables us to have the same exact guitar tone every week. So all the different guitar players that play come in and they play through this unit, which really helps out front of house because once the sound is dialed, it's always dialed. So we use the Helix in stereo. And here's what the guitars sound like right off the preamps with no EQ and no filtering. So you can hear it's a little thin and it's very verbed out. This is an alter moment that we had. We don't want to get copyright strikes for any of these videos so we're not using an actual worship song. Um, so at this part of the set, he had the ambient setting on and he turned his drive pedal on. He's just playing 16th note. So it's a little verbed out, but still sounds awesome. The way we do electrics is we come in at that nominal level on sound grid. So if we look, we see we're at that minus 20. And I will EQ each side of the guitars on the desk. And I'll do uh, my filtering on the desk as well. So if I bring up the left side, put that up the middle so you can hear it. It just sounds a little upper mid-rangey. So now I feel like I can hear his pick again. And for the right side, same kind of deal. I feel like the definition of his playing just came out. So I'm doing a 2 dB cut at 2.4 and a 2.5 dB boost at 6K, just to shift that articulation in the upper mids. And I'm doing a high pass filter at 81 hertz for each electric guitar. When we get to sound grid, what we have going on on the guitars, we paying those guys back, is the SSL channel, which is doing nothing other than metering. You'll see the dynamics are bypassed and there's no EQ changes. Every now and then, I'll use this high mid band to shape the like 3K area if the guitars are getting a little harsh. And the first thing I run in sound grid on electric guitars is this Kramer HLS, which is a Helios console emulation. And I'm doing no EQ on it, but when you set the knob to 120 hertz and you put it in, it gives like a low mid bump. There's it out, in, Out, in. So that helps the guitars feel a lot more pleasing in a live environment. The, all the little ice pick, harsh overtones that can come out when you're listening at you know 90 decibels, they go away with that HLS channel, which is really, really great. And for compression on electrics, I use the CLA 3A. Uh, I like the LA 3As for when I just need some soft optical compression um, because they also roll off a little bit of that upper mid-range. They smooth out the high end in a really pleasing way. So here's with that out. Here's it in. So all that, all that note articulation suddenly happens and I can actually hear what he's playing so here is those two compressors out, or the compressor and the channel strip. Plugins out and then in. So that's out, and that's in. Nice and warm, nice and full. And then this last little trick is another thing I stole from Chris Greeley is to use the Puig Child 670, which is a mid-side compressor. 
um, well, it's a compressor that can be used in mid-side. What that means is it can actually work stereo, it can work left-right independent, or it can work mid-side. Mid-side means one channel will work on the middle information and one channel will work on the side information. And so a really cool little trick with that is to shape how the guitars interact with the vocal and all the center information. So here's it out. And here's it in. Out. In. So the whole stereo field got a lot wider. I usually would keep the gain at unity and boost the sides about 3 dB, uh, but I found that that would every now and then mess up the gain structure a little bit. So what I did is actually trimmed the middle 3 dB and left the sides at zero. So all the level you're hearing is perceived volume. The output gain's not really changing, but you can see this threshold is compressing the middle about two to three dB at all times. So here's the whole guitar chain in sound grid out. And in. You hear when it's in, it's a lot wider, it's a lot clearer. Here's the sound grid chain out, and then I'll put it in. is just a really, really great sound for the electrics. So that's how we mix the electric guitars here at the Power Place.